Oh, Lord. So we open with Joey going at it with that damn TV guy again. Now Brad pipes up and tells the TV guy, well, there's been a hurdle for you to let us in. Yeah, because he's only letting the Mean Girls guy in. They're on here for full free press and promo. You, they don't want to get to know no. So Brad's trying to get James to be a part of the group. Y'all only got two more episodes. Is it really that important? But now Todrick asks, where's Dorian? And James says, you know, he has social anxiety, so he might be anxious the next time he sees you. Dorian just had his butt on his shoulders. He wasn't anxious. I ain't buying that. If you're anxious, you don't act like a butthead. This is my first time meeting you, and it's not a good impression. Who says that? You gonna give his products on your little cruise? Then he gonna say, well, I never said Joey. I never singled you out individually. Well, you clearly know that's who he has issue with, girl. James, you also messy as hell. Oh, Joey said, well, since Dorian's such a good friend, why wasn't he at your party today? Oh, James said, let me know when you're done. Girl. Joey's like, oh, now you on your phone? I'm running a business, Joey. Oh, look, not a business, girl. <laughs> well, ain't you at work? Can't you run your business on your off time? We didn't have enough of your infomercial. We get it. Go on cruises with, with you and Jonathan Bennett from Mean Girls. Okay. Y'all want to go? I ain't going. I ain't going. Uh -huh. We're all running businesses, James. Joey calling James out. You listened to everyone except for me all night. And James, you are very dismissive of Joey. You don't respect him. And you do look down on him. And it's like, okay, girl. So Brad's in the bathroom saying that James is being rude to Joey, which he is. Who's sending you a text at 10.30 p.m. about your business? Nobody. Uh -huh. Joey asked James, why haven't you asked me one thing about myself? Because everything about you is on social media and you're not that interesting. I can tell James thinks he's better than the more feminine flamboyant gays. Oh, God. Now James says, well, I apologize. What can I do? Stop giving insincere apologies. You, oof. I see why you with the guy from Mean Girls. You a mean girl. So now James says he doesn't feel welcome in the group of guys. After you was all funky when you invited them to your little party, you made them feel unwelcome first, Alpha. You are the problem. The call is coming from inside the saltine. So he's like, you know what? Have a wonderful night. Good luck. And he just leaves. Bye. Bye, Heifer. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now we have Dorian Bitter Queen. I never in the Pride at Palm Springs. It's not really my thing. Then stay your ass at home. Stay the F home. I am. If it's not your thing, don't go. I'm sick of half the people there whining. It's not my thing. I don't really want to be it. Then don't go. You get to go for freaking free and you whining. Todrick on the phone with his mom? I never thought he had parents. I thought he just hatched like most lizards. She's probably a paid extra. I wonder if she know her son ain't shit. Oh, God, he worried about booing when he gets on stage. Well, I'm going to boo you now. Boo! And boo Dorian Bitter Queen. Oh, we getting Todrick's backstory? Mute. Best fiends. So it's the day of Todrick's show, and he going to bring Joey up on stage. For what? I don't know. So now everybody but uh, James and Dorian is together and they talking to James and they like, look, if you could just, you know, let people finish because you can't take a breath, really. You just go on and on and on and nobody can get a word. And so if you maybe just shut up and let people tell you what they saying, you might get a little further ahead in life. So Curtis and Brad is still hanging out by the pool and Brad said, you know, Curtis was nervous about doing this show, but he's about to get it in his DMs. Don't nobody want no 40-year-old closeted queen. Over with Todrick and the dancers that ain't gonna get paid. We're rehearsing. So Joey's fiance surprised him at the hotel. The only person that wants to look at him. He must be amazing in bed. Meanwhile, across town, James is talking to his photographer friend about the ambush he got at dinner. Honey, all you got was the negative energy you put out there. You just got it back, like a boomerang. Oh, goodness. He gonna say Brad was aggressively speaking to him? Soft-spoken? Brad ain't raised his voice this whole series. Girl, you pounce on me when I already felt down. I was attacked. No, you weren't. He said, we feel like there's a hurdle to getting to know you. That's all he said. That is not attacking you. 
So his pan friend said, well, try bringing them into your world the way you do things. Didn't he do that at that party and basically told them to sit there and shut up and they couldn't play no games? He did. He invited them to his little business lunch and, you know, didn't interact. This is the worst as far as editing and the way they chop up the confessionals. It's really poorly done. Oh, but now Dorian Bitterqueen has arrived. Todrick's getting ready and we're all in his room preparing to go to the performance. Ooh, and 20 minutes till Basketball Wise returns. And we get to see British talk about her felony fraud case. Brought to you by the IRS. I'll never forget how people in my comments was telling me, ooh, you can get a PPP, you can get a PPP. Mm-hmm, didn't touch it. Thank God. Somebody was trying to set me up for the okie doke But I don't play in court. Oh, God. So Brad and Cedric, because that's his new name now, they leave the room so that Joey and Dorian Bitterqueen can have a conversation. Say, oh, God, I don't want to look at this. Hold on. I got to find some fucks. Give me a minute. Oh, God. And Dorian Bitterqueen is still very high and mighty. I was like, it just kept going left. And who does this queen she think she is talking to me like this? Okay, girl. So they're going to start fresh with the handshake. Oh. And Dorian apologized for nothing like I knew he would. Like I knew. You were quite the see you next Tuesday at that party, sir. And what had happened was, see, I remember four weeks ago, uh, his friend said, oh yeah, your boy over there talking smack and he confronted you on it. You were there acting a fool. And then the confessional, Dorian doubles down on having his ass on his shoulders. I don't care. That apology was for him. Girl, if you don't like these people this much, why are you here? Why are you here? Why do you care? Why show up? Oh, Lord, brag on say I'm so glad they took the time to make up before Todrick's performance. Production forced it and we know it. I mean, this is just so fake. So Brad tells Dorian how James has been caping for him because James is merely trying to distract everyone from his real issue with Joey. They just don't like Joey. <laughs> and Dorian's like, I don't know why he caping for me. Because it's not about you, Dorian. Never has been, never will be. Shitty boo, that's why I watch this show for you. But I don't want to see you anymore. I mean, this is agony. Not agony, agony. So Dorian says this is James's insecurity because he's got issues with his self-worth. No, he's just being a butt. So they like, well, if James shows up, he show up. If he don't, whatever. You know he will. Child, Todrick's still singing and I'm still mutant. Dorian pretended to like it. He's smiling, but it's that wince grin smile. Ooh, I want to go home. And for once, me and he agree. I want to go home and I am home. I just want to go home from watching this. Let me fast forward. Yep, that's the shit. And I'm going to see you next week. Let's get to basketball wives. 